Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Psych and Plays Diaries of Death. Uh, today we're continuing with our Frost Mage in World of Warcraft Hardcore. It's time for us to continue where we have left off the last time. To recap, we're level 9. Uh, we got a bunch of summoned material and uh, we got a few quests uh, to the east, which we're going to attempt right now. So off we go. For starters, a couple of updates whilst we are working. So I decided to go with the herbalist alchemist route, mainly because my logic was uh, number one, that'll give us a couple of potions that are helpful. Number two, I could imagine that on hardcore servers, people are willing to pay for potions and aren't willing to like create them themselves. So uh, that is an easy way of uh, making money. We will need a lot of enchantments um, ourselves and we need to get the right um, equipment as we're going. But in the long run, uh, the alchemy route might be uh, one that is going to pay for all of that, plus hopefully a mount. All right, so let's move to the east and start there. Good, we arrived where we needed to be. Time to kill a couple of Scarlet Warriors and grab some pumpkins on uh, the way. The farmhands don't need to die, but yeah, what can I do? Typically try to clear most of the stuff so that enemies aren't aggroing. That way you're not uh, getting yourself in danger. I've seen in the meantime quite a few compilations of people dying on hardcore and it's bad enough that server lag or just things that could uh, horribly go wrong can kill you. There is no point in just improving the odds by just being an idiot yourself. So we're going to collect uh, these pumpkins and next up uh, we're going to kill a couple of Scarlet Warriors. Let's fast forward the pumpkins. Good, Fields of Grief are done. Uh, let's grief a couple of these Scarlet Warriors. And that seems to be also an easy access uh, to the shoreline which is exactly where we need to go in order to do another quest. Oh lovely, Murlocs. Not only do they sound funny, they are also one of my favorite enemies in the entirety of World of Warcraft. I mean, can't help it, but these guys are indeed funny, right? Plenty of them here. This is a typical place where you can indeed mess up. Specifically when they are running away. Sucks playing a warrior at uh, these locations because you can see how densely packed they are. Let's hope your hamstring is working, because elsewise you do have a problem with them. My personal preference uh, with uh, dealing uh, with these guys is to just pull an entire side. And just clear out the entire side. By the way, I found my first healing potion as well, so we're actually doing all right. And that's one of those situations where I wish we had Counterspell. Because there isn't a lot of line of sight here, none that would really matter. Yeah, we're 
most certainly are not going to go into the water to get them. Are the warriors dropping the scales as well? Yes, they can. Okay, so we're going to make sure that our route of exit is clear, which is why we're starting to clear it over here. And let's talk a little bit about leashing a mechanic in uh, World of Warcraft. So whenever you're attacking a mob that is near another mob, like this one, uh, there is a chance that the other mob, if, uh, if the one that you're attacking is close enough, um, would add. And if that happens, you're essentially fighting multiple mobs at once. Oh, that's bad. Therefore, it always is beneficial to make sure that you are not attacking like multi packs. And if you do, uh, the sheep method uh, that I just invented uh, seems like a logical case because um, if this guy leashes and a fall uh, and a another murloc leashes as well, then. You already got the first one crowd control. Don't need to deal with uh, the second one. Another option is to simply move out of range. Wait for them to get in range. And then unload. Alright. Worked like a charm. I will fast forward the rest of the quest uh, to go to the next one. Good, we're done with the Murlocs. Took us a while, but sometimes the drop rates uh, just aren't what they used to be. Uh, it is now time for us to invade the Scarlet Home, and I love the, Sc uh, the Scarlet Crusade as an opposition. This time it's a simple slay quest. So we're going to do exactly that. I am very much looking forward to get new water because the one that we're having now takes a while to really regenerate. You can always see that your water is outdated when you're starting to summon almost an entire stack of it. Um, with every single level, you're getting a bit more uh, water summoning. And if you've outleveled, you start with uh, two water of uh, yeah, the most recent uh, water that you've gotten. There might be a chest up there, now that I've cleared all of it outside, we maybe just can go in and snatch the chest. By the way, I also bought a couple of uh, backpacks. That way we're not always running out of space. Good investment. safe way of doing that is of course to not go inside because you can fall to your death here uh, and getting out isn't easy either of Scarlet Warriors here and one over there.
and there is another one up there but no chest right no it's just three warriors not not worth uh, the risk specifically since we don't have slow fall and just kiting all of them down here isn't uh, the optimal solution All right, fast, fast forwarding the rest of the uh, quest uh, for you guys. And we're just back in Brill. So, let's hand in our quests. I am forsaken. Goodbye. Our time will come. Fabulous. Additional quests, that's always good. Ask of death. Did we miss anything? Nah, maybe inside. Alright, level 10 also means we get new spells, which is fantastic. And we get some uh, some more cash. We got slumber sand. That is actually quite helpful. I like it. Uh, we will put that uh, as a crowd control mechanism. We'll put that up. Cool. So let's get rid of all of that stuff. By thinking about it, I might consider an add on to just sell all of the junk. Very good. And I think we got new water finally. Sathers. Beware the living. Speak quickly. We got uh, the better water, yes, and we got better frost armor. That is super good. And finally, frost nova, so so good. That will increase our survivability tons. So what are we dealing with? Uh, increase arm off by 110. That is super good. And we got Conjure Water number two, which as I mentioned, the moment that you are summoning almost a stack of uh, the other water, it's no longer good. Cool, how much is this regenerating? Eh, it's still slow, but it is okay. Much better than before. Very good. That was a good level. Specifically, the Frost Nova will help a ton. So we got a few new quests and we should be ready to go in just a second. Got a few new quests. Number one, uh, um, Insignia Rings up here. 
and then we got quite a bit over there so let's just get going plus we got a little bit further to the south uh, speak with anesthesia uh, will help us and I think that will open up our specs uh, very soon because yeah we got talents now and for starters we're starting with ele uh, elemental precision uh, let's talk a little bit about elemental precision or resists in general uh, there for mobs that are lower than uh, much lower than you there is always a 1% chance that they can resist however even mobs I think per default have like a two or three percent um, and I know that at least it used to be like that in classic um, uh, World of Warcraft back in the days that you needed two points in uh, that in order to basically put the resist chance to one percent for everything other than um, everything other than uh i think plus two or plus three like when the mobs are turning uh deep red and in, in rates so to speak so that's exactly what i'm going to do we'll start with um less resist let me do all of the talking here and uh, then we're going for a questing spree all right we finished our business in under city uh, got everything that we needed actually and uh, turned in a couple of quests and now we're ready to rumble we have a few quests in the west um, plus uh, now that we're being level 10 we're officially in that club of uh, the upper 50 percent those who didn't uh, die immediately at least according to the statistics we're going to start with uh, rear guard patrol a couple of wandering spirits and uh, bleeding horrors need to be slain so that sounds easy enough we got our new water whenever we're at full mana might as well conjure a little bit more of it because we're we've just barely gotten that new water hence it only conjures two at a pop and we would be ready I should soon make also a couple of potions. Minor defense sounds like an excellent addition to what we're have already having. All right, let's make our way towards uh, the field. Good, bleeding horrors, eight of them. Plus, what else do we need? Wandering spirits, eight of them. Okay, easy enough. Just a kill quest. It's funny to see in hindsight just how many kill quests uh, you had back in uh, Warcraft. And it was a complete novelty back in the days. The only other game that was comparable to World of Warcraft was EverQuest. And there you didn't even have a good quest design. As a matter of fact, you had horrible quest design from a uh, modern standpoint. You needed to hail NPCs and then uh, they were giving you a speech and talking about not wanting to read, uh, read through it. Uh, the only way of starting certain quests was to actually type the right keywords in. by basically interacting with the NPC. And that was the idea back in the days uh, that that is how kind of interactions and quest design are supposed to happen, which is funny in hindsight. Yeah, and plus there was no, well, Warcraft uh, had uh, no internet pages uh, that generally gave you uh, quest infos you just had to figure it out yourself oftentimes there was like zero info available and it made the completion of certain quests all the more interesting and rewarding but i do understand it was not meant for broader uh, for for broader audience like i said it was uh, everquest i think had 
a decent player base, but the majority of players were basically just leveling. Which was a completely different topic, even by itself. I just realized we do have um, Frost Nova, so let's take a look at how um, Frost Mage performs. The reason why I'm getting hit is you can see um, we're leveling defense and defense if you do it during the leveling process you don't need to have a stupid um, a stupid session later where you are uh, going into a low level zone to redo it defense determines if you are hit um, and if the hit is being uh, blocked altogether so it's actually an important skill So, let me take care of this here, and we're fast-forwarding just the killing of the spirits as well as the bleeding horrors. Good, off we go. Next stop, of the Scarlet Crusade. We've discovered their outposts, and like I mentioned, I really like to fight them. Specifically, if you get insignia rings and another quest uh, for the price of one. Uh, I think it's okay if we're on the same quest. It's going to be interesting. Good, let her unleash. With 200 mana, we can we can get her down. Uh, not calculated for that pesky heal. That was not a very good pull overall. Her spawning in and us, yeah, just effectively needing to sit uh, through her heal. There isn't much I can do. But since our friend here doesn't want to share the enemies whilst being in a group, uh, I think he simply prefers to stay alone, and that's okay. No problem with that either. Instead of getting the captain, which we do not really uh, need, uh, might as well go with a pack of two here. This time I'm accounting for the potential heal. Nice, we got a bracer. That is an upgrade to ours. Yeah, 
Okay, I'll fast forward the rest of the quest. You get the idea. Good, we're moving on. We got all of uh, the stuff from the Scarlet Crusade, but we can still uh, get a few more spiders. And this one here dropped spider venom. Nice, we got a one-handed sword and a mail. Not that I think we'll get a ton of money. But it might be interesting to see if people are willing to uh, just buy that crap for uh, for their potential warriors when they're starting off. At this point in the game, warriors cannot wear heavy armor. So a male is basically the heaviest uh, armor that they can wear. Okay, let's see what else. We got a couple more spiders over here. Apparently that other mage is just a step ahead of us with the quest, but that's okay. That spell isn't yet. Good, as we're done, uh, as we're starting to get done here, there is still more Scarlet Crusade to be killed in the south. Interesting. With our level up, we should be fine. We should be fine to get yet another frost talent, uh, and then our spell resist problem should no longer exist. It's not that we had a huge spell resist problem, but it was noticeable that a couple of the spells were typically resisted at some point. And we could really use a wand. I was contemplating going uh, Enchanter uh, shortly because then you can always kind of get your own ones, which isn't bad, but I figured instead of switching our professions around a couple of times, might as well just stick with uh, what we have, which is uh, Alchemy and see that through to the very end. Good, we're at like what? One. Yeah, drop quests, telling you, man. The worst drop quests are the ones that require like 10 of something. Because often times uh, it's not a guaranteed uh, drop just like the rings that we that we need to farm a second ago all right one or two more bolts and then we're fast forwarding With the addition of uh, Frost Nova, I become a little bit more aggressive and I'm not always going with uh, full mana, mainly because uh, that is a pretty decent escape tool. But it is noticeable that we're still requiring about half of our mana to, uh, to get through these guys here. And I'm only really engaging with half mana when I'm really sure that there's nothing that's going to add. I'm accounting for one resist, because that normally can happen. 
Yeah, and then you're having around 50 mana. So that's um, how I reasonably speed up the process. All right, fast forward. Um, we are going to kill the rest and then uh, do the Lich spellbook. And we're back at our favorite innkeeper. Let's go. And you are. Selling a boatload of crap here. Uh, here. And these here I'll maybe put in the auction house. Let's let's see how well that goes. So we've completed a couple of uh, easier quests, and we're almost ready for level eleven. Hello. getting what is it are a little bit better no. um, cloth items but that's okay every bit of armor counts I suppose and finally we can summon four water so let me trade in the remaining quests and then I think we're going to do the remainder of the quests just one sec all right, next up we got uh, more Scarlet Crusaders. Everybody's favorite, the Zealots, are coming back. And this time I think all we need to do is kill a couple of them. Not the solid, uh, Scarlet Crusaders, but the missionaries that we need to kill. All right, that is unfortunate. They were not part of uh, the spawn further up. And we need to get Captain Perrine down. Okay, cool. Easy enough. That's still and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we're zooming out and looking to the back. Could just do with a tiny bit more spell damage because I'm barely keeping up uh, with killing two of uh, these guys which is typically a sign that our equipment isn't the greatest but yeah we're not uh, ready for a dungeon yet that is maybe going to come in the next episode depending on how quick we can level I need to get closer Good, got the captain there and a zealot there. Fair enough. Luckily for us, we do have crowd control. Not going to waste any mana on non damaging spells at this point because the captain will break free soon. getting a tick of mana uh, in. Very 
very good. So all we need is another missionary. And then we're done. Down here, all we need is, then is the Veiling Ancestors quest. And that should be doable with level 11. Good, missionary is downed. Listen, let me hand in both of uh, the quests. You know what, we're, uh, before we're uh, mm, continuing, let's just do the hand in this quest and then go directly to the lich. That makes a lot of sense. Good, fast forward. We tried it in the quest and of course, I uh, forgot that there is even a follow-up step with more Scarlet Crusade, which I'm happy to do. Like I said, I like to battle against uh, that I faction. In between though, we have entered an island with quite a few undeads. Besides, I wanted to get the second uh, talent there so that we're no longer having any spell resist problems. difference between soft and hardcore for me in these situations is normally I would just run in and really not care about the aggro but on a tight space specifically surrounded with water there's a good chance that you're having a bit of a problem enemies tend to swim very well and there is not a lot of kiting going on in the water. Oh, come on, really? I think we've successfully cleared the entire uh, island of hungering deads. Good job, Saiken. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. This was uh, the spell book. Gunter here is chilling with his level 30, uh, 53. Good. Next stop, Scarlet Crusade. Okie dokie. So we're back and we're just requiring the friars this time. The ones that can nicely self-heal. Just one or two more ticks of mana and we're giving it a go. I need to get closer. So we anyways need to go forward and kill Captain Vachon, so that'll be our main target and whenever we find one of their casters, we might as well kill them too. Oh, 
Okay, this could be a little bit closer because I one resists and she might get her heal through. As I expected. Alright, we're using terrain to our advantage. Trying to not cast, that's the main topic. Good, enough mana. Yeah, sometimes I already know uh, what can happen, but you still need to uh, go through it anyways. So someone has nicely cleared all of that. Gotta be careful with the respawns. Just want to make sure we're not being stepped in the back. I'm not seeing corpses here, so I think the area is about to respawn. I'm not going to go in. That's the classical trope of you going in, moving up the tower and then realizing, yeah, respawn is happening. I called it. There we go. Respawn. Good, the captain will be coming to us. Troll Hunter is helping us a little bit. And is playing definitely more reckless than I am. He pulled two and is continuing to run. Let's hope uh, that he's going to be okay. Doesn't have faint death yet. all we need to do is one uh, get one more friar and then I think we're done here You wanted to heal your friend, you little prick. I'll leave you standing there, well alive, in the realization that you lost your best friend. Okay, cool. So, that's pretty much it for now. Let's uh, get back to Briar and uh, we'll continue from there. Alrighty, so... Time to return to the Lich book. Turned in all of the quests. Got a follow-up quest to return the book of the Lich, which is what we're currently doing. I need to get closer. I can't cast that yet. So all of them are now green. I feel more comfortable just walking in. Well, that shambling horror is not. What is it? Victory for Sylvanas.
Good. Let's kill these two real quick. And what do we need to do here? I vaguely remember that you need to go to the other island. Yeah, I think we need to get to the other island. Okay, so that's one thing that we will uh, be doing. Don't need to repeat that uh, quest. I don't even know what the reward would be. We don't need under uh, under city faction. We're okay. But what we would want to do afterwards is go again to the war with the Scarlet Crusade. And then we're doing the family crypt. Now, I think then we're pretty much out of uh, the zone because we have outleveled most of uh, the stuff here. Good, fantastic. Let's do the quest real quick and then Scarlet Crusade. Not a surprise, Lilith is coming. Leave a corpse. So we're going to see in a second what the reward for repeating this quest would uh, look like. Potentially not that great. I think it's the first repeatable quest that we've gotten. Okay. Let's just ask going back to the Undercity. Uh, but we're going to do that sh definitely after we've done this quest and after the family remains. I think um, I want to finish the area afterwards and that also would be a good end for the episode. Let me fast forward until we are at the Scarlet Crusade. Good, we got ourselves into a sneaky sneaky position where we can backdoor the Scarlet Crusade. And with that, we can finally start improving our Frostbolt. Got an undead priest here. Let's see if he wants to team up. The answer seems to be yes. I wanted to... Um, shift our little group box uh, there, by the way. Thank you for the buff, my friend. Mm -hmm. 
Fantastic. Can we move uh, the party to here? Yes, please. And lock it again. Even better. Come on. I didn't have a target. Good, with the two of us, of course, it is much, much safer. It's interesting, the priest is potentially, if he's mining, unless he has kind of a weird setup, he's potentially going for engineering, I guess. Priests uh, level up. Yeah, it's much much safer with uh, with two people. I'm not going to do a lot of two men content. thinking about going self-found as well which uh, definitely would have increased challenge a bit but on the other hand um, would it have really made a lot of uh, difference I'm playing through it the first time I'm mildly going to use the auction house I'm not going to take any uh, donations Really, it does not feel like that would be adding much other than headache. Killing potential with two people is massively stronger um, than with one person.
Very good. So, that was a nice little grouping experience. Like I said, most of this is supposed to be um, single player, but um, or single challenge. Uh, that's part of the hardcore uh, challenge of the Diaries of Death. But uh, if Saiken meets a random stranger, why not? All right, fast forwarding to the next quest location for you guys, so you don't need to wait. All right, fast forward ends. We are now going to kill a couple of uh, ancient family members here. This is the last uh, quest step, family crypt. Let's go, Wailing Ancestors, as well as a, f a few other higher level enemies. Wailing and Rotting Ancestors is what we need to kill, and Dargol Skull. Ergo, we need to kill Dargol as well. also make for a really cool tech team if you were to play uh, with a tank, a tank healer combination that would make the whole looking for group things specifically dungeons potentially completely trivial I noticed uh, there is a bit of a lack of people on those uh, servers I can fully appreciate and understand why hardcore isn't for everyone And again, I'm pretty sure what we're looking for, our goal, is inside here. What we've just seen uh, the other player enter. be a bit careful because running out of here might trigger respawns. If I recall correctly, Dargoal is on the bottom of this. I certainly don't want to fight three of them. Gotta speed up because the respawns are going to come soon and unfortunately both of my abilities of crowd control aren't really the best here. I do have sleep and sheep. And guess what? Undeads are immune to both. Good. 
room of all three of them cleared. There is Captain Dargol. Captain Dargo to sing his last song, the hymn of I am getting owned. Very good. And time for us to leave this crypt. my health potion I need mana regeneration all right and that's exactly why you don't fight indoors because the hyper spawns are becoming a real problem moving out of here I want to stay here a moment longer than needed our biggest problem is once we're out of mana since I don't have mana potions uh, the only option that I do have is chitin uh, kite uh, the enemy and that in close quarters that just doesn't sit very well Just need one more rotting ancestor and we should be good to go. Fabulous. That leaves us with a nicely finished set of quests and we're going to hand all of them in. All right, we are 
back time to trade in our quests and reap the rewards. Being freshly level 12 also means we get a couple new spells. What is it? New Conjure Food. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Slow Fall. I'll take that any day of the week. Damp Magic. Not bad either. Um, hmm. Do we need to take the upgraded Fireballs at this point? Yeah, I think for a few more levels, uh, Fireballs still... Uh, provides a higher amount of damage. So, might as well take it. Damp magic uh, will help us. Nice little 10 minute buff. And the newer version of Conjure Food uh, will help us as well. Fabulous. <clears throat> so, quite a bit of progress, actually. Oh, I forgot to exchange the fireball. Which is now dealing 70 points of damage. Yeah, that's a pretty sizable uh, damage boost compared to Frostbolt. All right, almost handed in all of the quests. Uh, we get another staff. Dark lady, watch over you. Three stamina isn't bad. That's 30 hit points. Good, and we also created a few potions more kind of longer term investments uh, such as uh, the weak troglot uh, potion very good let me turn in the last quest i think we should be uh, getting our hand over to silver pine uh, forest all right, we're nearing the end of episode number two, and we got quite a bit uh, done. So in terms of movement, uh, I ventured all the way over to here, into the sepulchre, and we already we are loaded with uh, quite a bit of quests. Uh, I'm leveling cooking because I figured uh, there are a couple of stamina buffs later in the cooking uh, menu, and if I can just... Yeah, kill wildlife and uh, get cooking up then at least later down the road we should be fine again it's pretty bad playing a warrior because you would need to uh, skill cooking just to regenerate health other than that we got our first flight path over here which is great and we got quite a few quests actually so that uh, was good um, Hello. we've leveled to level no one. Victory for Sylvanas. 13 all we need to do now is ride to the under city and I should not have a problem do uh, with doing that uh, we can matter of fact quite easily do that uh, and should be fine that leaves us uh, only with uh, farewell for the second episode so i can uh, the mage is still uh, alive at level 13 and we're hopefully going to get to level 20 uh, soonish because that would mean we are yet again overcoming a 50 50 flip only 25 percent of the players make it to level 20 before dying so Let's be part of the 25% club. Let's see how it goes in the next episode. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.